I just want to share something with you really quickly. I know sometimes we feel like, where is God? Or does he hear me? Or does he answer the prayers? Why is it that he can speak so clearly to others and others can hear him so clearly? But to us, sometimes we might not hear him or we might not feel that he's there. And some might even question, is there a God? Does he really exist? But the reality that I come to realize is that God does exist. But most importantly, he wants to hear from you. He wants you to talk to him. He wants you to come to him. Just like you go to your best friend and you talk to them and you confide all your secrets and all your problems. He wants you to come to him in that same manner and talk to him. And the more you talk to him, I personally believe the more that you talk to him, the more you would see or you would hear from God. Not only do you desire to hear from him and desire to hear his voice or hear him talking to you or instruct you, but you have to talk to him back. It just reminds me of a baby. It's when you talk to a little baby and you talk to that baby, but the baby doesn't answer you back. It doesn't talk to you back clearly. And if you didn't know how a baby grows and becomes a toddler and then a young child or the process of it, if you didn't know, or if you didn't have the knowledge that you have now, then you would think, well, hey, this, this baby doesn't talk. This baby is never going to talk to me. It's not going to answer me and talk to me back. But it's the same thing that goes with knowing God. First, you have to understand who is God. You have to get a better understanding that God is not just this, um, this person that, oh, this mystical being or this spirit that created just the heavens and the earth. And he did all these things in the early New Testament, in Genesis and in Exodus, but he's also our heavenly father. Not only is he our heavenly father, but he's our friend. And that's something that we have to get to understand who is God. We first have to educate ourselves to knowing, okay, God is this. He is that. Not only is he creator, but he's our father. He's our friend. He's our confidant. He's our provider. He's all of these things. Okay, now that we understand who God is, we have to also understand what is God like. Okay, we know for one thing, he loves a cheerful giver. Okay, and in terms of cheerful, he wants you to give just as you give a little candy to a child. He wants you to be cheerful about it. He loves a cheerful giver. He loves when you do these things. And he also loves when you talk to him. It's important to talk to him. Let him know all your concerns, all your problems, all your fears. I know it seems so easy to talk to him when you have a problem or when you're going through something. It, it becomes easy to cry out to God. But what about on your everyday basis? Do you tell God, God, I'm so thankful that you wake me up this morning. God, I'm so thankful for my many blessings. Heavenly Father, I just give you praise just for you, God, for being so, so good. Is it all of these things that you have to take in consideration? And most importantly, continue to talk to him, whether it be a silent prayer, whether it's vocal, even if you don't know what to say, because in terms of talking to God, we should also pray his scriptures back to him. We should tell him his word. And that's important to tell him his word. But even if you don't understand how to talk to him or how to communicate his word back to him, talk to him with the littlest things. It reminded me of, I remember when I first started my walk with Christ, when I first developed a relationship with him, down to the little smallest things at times when I didn't have, um, lunch, for example, when I was schooling my first few years in college, I remember at least 80 to 90% of my paycheck would go towards my tuition. And at times when I'd be to work, I didn't have food to eat. I didn't have any lunch, certain things I couldn't get. But I remembered I would pray to God and be like, well, Lord, I don't have it today. Lord, can you help me? Can you at least straighten me because I have a full day ahead of me? And I remember someone would come along and they would bless me. They would give me um, 
some money to get something to eat or in some way they would bless me and I would know, hey, God, that was you. That was you who blessed me. You made that possible. And it's the little things, just as we desire friendship and communication and even times when you are in a relationship and you want your partner or your spouse to do these little things to show you that he cares. What's the point of him giving you all these elaborate gifts or she giving you elaborate gifts in a relationship and they don't talk to you, they don't spend time with you, they don't show you that you're important. How would you feel knowing that they do all of these things but the little things that are so important they do not value? And it's the same thing that goes with God. You have to cherish the little things that he do for you. You have to appreciate those little things. And not only that, he appreciates the little things that you do, the little prayers that you pray for him. It might start off small. It might not be elaborate. And it doesn't have to be elaborate because in Matthew, you know, when you pray, you don't pray these elaborate prayers for persons to hear you or for it to be shown, but you do it in your secret place. You, you pray to God, whether it's small, whether it's big, even if it's just to say, thank you, God loves these little things that you do. And he hears, believe it or not, he hears you. The little prayers, the little actions, the little way that you say, thank you, and I appreciate you. And as you talk to God, as you pray to him, then you would see the manifestation of his word in your life. Of course, you have to listen to the word and you have to read the word, but you would also see manifestation of your prayers being answered. And that is so important that he wants to hear from you. Do not stop praying or try to continue to pray over and over. Make it a point of consistency. Make it a point of habit. Just like how some things that you do habitually, things that you would normally do, make that a part of your habit. Like the scripture says, pray without ceasing. Continue to pray, whether it's for big things or little things. Continue to pray. Continue to talk to God. Never stop talking to God and you would hear from him more. So I just want to share that with you. I felt like somebody needed to hear that, that it's important to continue to talk to him, continue to seek after a relationship with him, continue to get to know him, just as you strive to get to know someone new, just as you strive to get to know more knowledge, or just as you, you strive to get more money, or you strive to achieve your education or your diploma or a new business is important to strive to find out who is God and not only who he is, but also to try and develop a relationship with him. And it starts off as simple as talking to him. Well, well, I just want to share that with you and I hope you be blessed by this video.